I'm tired of the bad news, aren't you? The stay inside because it's not safe outside bad news, or the I'm sorry, but what you've been dealing with is terminal and you only have three days to live bad news, or even the we just got rushed by 20 tiny Girl Scouts and unfortunately we ran out of the double chocolate chip peanut butter ice cream, kind of bad news. It scrawled all over our news feeds with hypnotizing pictures and argued over by the ones that we trust most. The bad news, its weight is too much to handle most days. It leaves us desperate to hear news that is good. The music of a newborn's cry or the let's jump in the car and go stick our toes in the sand kind of good news. The good news that says the prognosis is positive and we're moving full speed ahead because you're a warrior and you're going to beat this. I'm not sure about you, but I'm craving the good news that saves souls. The good news that restores hope to the hopeless and relief to the suffering. The kind of good news that overrules the bad news. That tells it to back itself up and sit itself down because there's no room in this place for its sass. The life-saving good news. The kind that will keep us grounded when anxiety is high and the bad news is blaring. It's out there, I promise. And it wants to embrace you and guard your heart and mind from the beating bad news always yields because the good news that I have for you has already battled the worst news and came out victorious. My good news fought for you so that you might have peace. So let me tell you some good news. 